most people feel like they need more energy. In fact, we're a culture that's wired and tired. You know, fatigue is prevalent. In this ancient practice called Qigong, the focus and the emphasis is on internal energy. When we're out of balance with nature, our own inner nature, we don't sleep well, we don't get motivated, we're not inspired. Stress is a cause of fatigue. When we feel overwhelmed, life is too stressful, it wears on our energy. So, what we're talking about is the quality of energy as well as the quantity. Quality. So poor quality energy really means stress, negative emotions, and we want to improve the quality of our energy. So in Qigong practice, we call it transform stress into vitality. Transform into vitality, negative emotions or unwanted energy. Stress into vitality. That sounds like a good thing, right? It's about the quality of our energy. Now, if you sleep better, we have lower stress, your energy automatically is going to go up. We're going to feel more energy. Now, in Chinese medicine, this term qi, there's many kinds of qi. Qi means energy, like we said, but it also means aliveness, life force, life force. What is the force that keeps you alive? Well, to be alive, you need some different kinds of energy. You need breath, for example. You need food. Breath is called zong qi, means the qi of your chest, the qi of the lungs. And food, gu qi, the, food, the, the energy we get from food. Now, in Chinese medicine, there's about 300 or so different kinds of qi. And so the way in which we work with this helps to deliver the quality and the quantity of energy. If you want more energy, one of the things you could do immediately is learn how to breathe better, improve your nutrition. Another one, sleep, get better rest. All of these things your Qigong practice can help you with. So let's not just talk about more energy. Let's do some practice that will help to give us more energy. So we'll do that just now. What I want you to do is just take a stance that's about shoulder width, and we're gonna do a couple energy enlivening practices. Have your hands come up like this. One of the things that we wanna do is there's too much tension around the back and the neck and shoulders will get fatigue automatically. So this one is called spinal enlivening. Both hands are up. You're gonna come off the back heel and just rotate like that. Come off the back heel, turn over the opposite shoulder and just rotate. And let's move the energy through our spine. Let's mobilize the spine. And just go back and forth. Open the energy gates in the body. Now bring your hands a little bit lower. Move the joints through your mid back. Movement is key to feeling aliveness. You know, if you sit too long, if you don't move, it creates stagnation of energy. And over time, stagnation of energy causes fatigue. So get your body moving in simple and healthy ways. Hands a little lower. Now, let your arms continue this motion and let them wrap around and knock on your body. Knock across your lower back and across your lower abdomen. This is called knocking on the door of life. And these points right across the lower back in Chinese medicine are used for energy. Knocking on the door of life. Increase your vitality, your life force, and get it to circulate. Go ahead and take a nice deep breath. And now just slow it down. Let your body unwind. Those points that we were knocking on are right here, right here on the sides of the spine. These points, U, UB, urinary bladder 23, and the door of life is right in the middle, just directly behind your navel. So I want you to just tap on these points right here. A little self acupressure. If you need to lean forward, you can do that. Just tap on these points. Take a nice deep breath. And then tap on the points right on your chest, right in the very center of your sternum. Take a nice
nice deep breath. Let's free up the chi. Let's free it up so it can circulate. Good. Bring your hands down. And then a wonderful flowing exercise that'll bring more energy into the body. Very simple. What we're going to do is have the back of the hands come towards each other. And then your hands are just going to roll up like this and arms out to the sides. It's called the fountain. Imagine you're drawing forth energy from below you and this abundance of energy comes up through your body. The breath is like this. We're going to inhale as we come up and exhale as the arms go out to the sides. Do it nice and slow. Inhale as we come up. Imagine energy rising up through your body. Exhale down. Now there's a little undulation or wave-like quality in your spine. So your hips glide back and then you just wave or roll up through the spine as the arms come up. Very simple movement, synchronizing the movement with your breathing. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, arms out to the sides. Nice deep breath. Slow movement also really helps your body your body and your mind to integrate and to circulate the chi, this life force energy. Glide the hips back, wave and roll up through your spine. Just feel this wonderful fluidity and flow moving through you. Inhale and exhale. Tension, tightness stagnation, just melting away and clearing out in this pristine, wonderful energy circulating through you. Relax your upper back, your neck and your shoulders. Synchronize breath and the movement. Inhale, roll up. Exhale down. Let's do it one more time. Bring your hands down to your sides. I want you to notice how your body feels. Just check in. See if you feel a little lightness, a little buzzing, a little tingling, a little improvement in the quality of your energy. Just check in with yourself. Nice, slow, deep breath. Sometimes your best energy is just a few minutes away with a simple practice like Qigong. Hope you enjoyed that.